with a bang. The company is upbeat on the industry-leading growth by FY17. CNBC TV 18's Kritika Saxena and Shireen Bhan find out what has the management gotten so confident. Here's Vishal, sir. <laughs> Vishal Sikka has good reason to smile. His renew and new strategy of restructuring existing verticals and using innovation and automation to chase newer, larger deals is paying dividends. And the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Um, the outlook is a, is a um, uh, good one. Uh, in the last three quarters, the top five, top ten and top twenty-five clients have significantly um, outperformed the company performance. Uh, so we ex expect that to continue. This strong performance has been aided by multiple factors. Strong volume growth of 3.1%, new deal wins worth $350 million, a brisk growth rate in Europe and India, and a better than expected performance in retail, manufacturing, and financial services. So the $3 billion deal pipeline Infosys enjoys at the moment is icing on the cake. The pipeline is across uh, sectors, barring uh, telecom and uh, energy to some extent. Uh, we are seeing strong pipeline in uh, financial services. We are seeing strong pipeline in retail and uh, CPG manufacturing to some extent. That does not mean that there are no headwinds. With respect to recovery in the oil and gas, it's difficult to predict uh, because uh, about six months back we thought the oil price had bottomed down, but again we saw a further uh, decrease in oil prices. So the industry view is uh, we can continue to expect volatility at least for the next year or so. In addition, pricing, which is down 2.5% this quarter, remains a pressure point. But to offset this, the management wants to focus on maintaining margins within a 24 to 26% range. To this end, it's working on enhancing operations. Utilization, for instance, stands at 80.6% and can be improved. If you look at our utilization, it is still 80.6. If you look at our on-site effort marks, it is still 29.5. If you look at uh, some of the other on-site uh, you know, employee costs, subcon costs, subcon costs is 6.3% of revenue. So we have these levers. Some of these levers are gradual. Some of these uh, levers, uh, uh, you know, take... Uh, are short term, some are medium term. Mm. So we continue to retain that 25% plus or minus one. The other concern is currency volatility. As Infosys points out, all major currencies have seen a decline, so it will continue to look for rolling hedges on a two-quarter basis. I think currency, if you look at, uh, you know, we have consistently approached uh, saying that around close to a billion, currently 950 million dollars hedge positions we have. We continue to look for a you know, rolling two quarters basis. And that has, in the times of extreme volatility, for example, if you look at the USD, Euro, or USD, GBP, and even, uh, uh, you know, Australian dollar, there's a huge volatility. And volatility is here to stay. We have to navigate that. As long as we are taking a consistent uh, approach to our hedging strategy, and uh, we should be able to minimize the impact. But uh, we have to look at a combination of you know, forwards and options, uh, as we have done in the past. Don't forget, the third quarter is traditionally a weak quarter. And despite strong numbers, this past quarter has been no exception. Revenues from its top 10 clients have slipped 0.26%, largely because of increased furloughs among manufacturing clients. Revenue per employees also remain flat at 50,500 rupees, and a pickup in this area may not be quick. IT budgets, however, for the next one year will continue to remain flat, or in fact, we'll see a downward trend, and there will be quarterly fluctuations. However, in the long term, that is for the 2020 target, Infosys is confident of maintaining $20 billion revenue, 30% margin, and a $80,000 revenue per employee marker by the 2020 target. However, what remains to be seen, and some analysts say that Infosys could possibly beat that target. In Bangalore, Kritika Saksena. And if Infosys continues to maintain that momentum, it's all set to outpace the growth rate of TCS.